Hi guys, welcome to my space. I'm Freedom. Let's dive into data. I know it's been a moment since I last shared a post. Uh, I took a break, personal break for myself to relax and get my get myself together. But I'm back now, and today, like I promised my guys on Twitter and on LinkedIn, I'll make a video explaining how to format a slicer. I know it has been a struggle. Sometimes you see an amazing looking dashboard and the slicer just looks off. So how to be able to format your slicer properly. And I just want to go straight to it. I don't want to talk too much about this dashboard, but you can see how the slicer was able to sit properly and blend into the dashboard. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to format the slicer. So I'm trying to pick in two colors we're going to be using. So let's bring in our shapes. Let's say you have a white dashboard. So we'll do white. And let's alt the outline. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Let's say you have a white dashboard and you have, let's use an off color, like a color that is not random. Let me just use one of this. Okay. Let's say you have this. You have a white background dashboard and you have this dark color and you're trying to blend in a slicer that could fit into it and blend properly on it. So first of all, let's insert our slicers and let's insert something. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Insert slicers. Then we can insert for, okay. Yeah, we have product. Okay. That should do. Let's take this to where we want it to be. Okay. So this is our slicers and whenever you click on your slicers, it brings out the slicers pane up here on your ribbon. As you can see here, you see the format I did already, but no need for that. So when you get your slicers, you could find your slicer settings here where yeah, you could adjust the name product. This is the display name. You could off your header from here. Or on your header, you could adjust the sorting and everything from the side. But we're not doing the slicer settings. But if you need to do anything on here, it's basically trying to off or on the header. That's basically all I do on here. And OK. So to format the slicers, my first advice is also picking from the already formatted slicer because most time during the custom one, mm, a new slicer style is cool, but sometimes I like some of the already custom made and it gives you like an easy route to what you can rebuild because now you're looking at this, you can see the white, you can see the blue. So when you go on your format, you see the white and the blue, you know what to change and what to adjust. So that's basically all we're going to be doing. So first of all, we have the white background. So let's fit in a slicer that could work on a white background and then we do for the dark as well. So you go in, you pick in one of your slicers. Let me pick this. Okay, this is better. Then you right click and duplicate. So it opens this for you and now you have to format them one by one. So depending on the background you have, you're going to determine the kind of background your slicer is going to be. It has to fit in, it has to blend in. So the whole slicer is where it all starts from. So your whole slicer's color matters a lot. So the whole slicer has to, first off, you could adjust the font, but I don't need to do the font or the borders on here. All I'm, I don't want to know borders. Yeah, first thing. All I just want is the color. So the first thing to do is pick the white color. So it matches with the background we already have. And you click OK. And another thing again is try and error. You could always go back, try again, go back, try again, go back, try again. So if you want to adjust for the header as well, you could format for the header. I don't know. I like removing the borders for most of them. But the font, you could adjust what kind of... Um, font you want, the font style, if you want it bold, I like bold and 10, bold 10 is okay. And I click okay. So next up is selected with, selected item with data. So you click on it and click format. So if you select what color do you want to see? Do I still want to see black? Okay. Yes. I still want to see black, but I want it bold and 10. 
that one borders not really if you want borders you could also keep in borders then you want to see what is going to be highlighted you could see the ash color here so what do you want it to be popping do you want it to be popping ash depending on all the teams on your dad but you could pick but most times you might not see you already use that um, color so you could go for more colors and like pick the colors you actually want so yeah let's use this another color let's use blue so okay so now we have the blue out here then you could do selected with no item with no data you could format it you could see the field is also ash so but instead of this blue i want it to be white just plain on the background no border as well and the font i don't want it to be bold but i want it to be 10 and i click ok so all select uh, all selected items with data so now what do we want how do you want it to look like i still want it to be white just plain on the background the borders not no not really and the color i want the color to change i want the color to be blue bold blue and i want it to be turn maybe bold yeah but something else so okay so basically you could also over selected item you could adjust this so it's mostly on yellow but you could do the whole wall. maybe you want it to be ash when you over around it and the borders no no need for borders the fonts no no need for that you could just leave it at 10 i click ok so that's it you could do for all the overall selected item but this is majorly what you're going to be needing so you click ok so now you have the new format here and when you click down you can see a new format has been here so this is the new format we made can you see and if you want to adjust the column you want it to be let's say seven okay so it fits in everything and you could always adjust it to fit properly so you could see how it blends in and sits where right in this chart can you see so even when you click the whole vast still remains ash selected you can see and it changes the blue but the background changes to a blue when it's not selected so that's how you format a slicer in a white background so over here now we have another color here so the color i don't know if it's easy to locate if it's not i always tend to get the color first so let's copy this color copy this and say okay so that's the background so we go back to our slicers so we want another one so we go to slicers and we go to formats let's recreate something else let's say let's recreate this click on duplicate then the whole slicer you format it and the board no not really i can say no i don't want nothing on this then you go to more colors so just in case the colors is not easy to locate here because that's another thing gets the code and you could be able to write on with it okay i think i didn't copy this so i have to clear i have to clear it and i'll start again and i'll start again so the next thing i'm doing is copying the colors again So that's the thing is always try and error i could copy paste it out here mm -hmm. so just in case i want to see so let me click on sizes again then i format this one no not this okay this is the one i'm formatting now so i just click modify i go to the old sizer i go back there and more colors yeah so now we have the background sorted and we don't want no borders and we click OK. So now the old background has been sorted. So the next stop is selected with item for header. Let's adjust this. You can say, I don't want no fill here. We still want it to be just like that. So. Mm, no, we could also paste, drop the color here just to make it make more sense and click okay for borders none 
Most times I take out the header, that's why I'm not really bothered about it. So if the background is dark, then this has to be light. So that's the thing, this has to be light. So we need something that can speak on it and we can make it bolder and click OK. So you see it, you can see it up here and it's showing properly. So selected data with item, we don't want it to be blue. We want it something that is lighter than that. Then we could pick something that just shadows it a little bit. Or if you already have a color pattern, it will be very, very important to stick with it. Let's say we're just doing this because of this, what we're doing. And yeah. So what will shine more on that will be uh, black. Mm, I want it to be a bit darker than this. So let's say we're picking in almost the same color on it. I put almost the same color on it, but yeah. If I, I'll just adjust it a little bit to make it a bit lighter to sit on it. Yeah. Okay. That should do. And we don't want no bother, no bother. And the font, we want it to be white. I want it to be white. I want it to be turned and bold and click OK. You can see it's changed already. And when there's no data selected, what do you want to see? I just want to see it's dark on there. So I change it. I just want to see dark there and the borders none. And what do you want to see? I just want to see the red, but not seem too clear. So it could just be dark and plain there. So it'd be 10 and bold as well. No, well, I don't want it bold. I don't want it bold. So regular, I click OK. You can see selected item with no data. So that's major things you just adjust. You keep adjusting, adjusting until it fits what you're trying to do. Same thing. I want the same background because I don't want, I want to keep the dark team there. So you have to make the changes of all the fill so that whenever you're working on it, it still speaks. Let's play with here. No bold. No, I want a regular, but still on 10. And click OK. And that's it. I also looked at item. This is blue. I need to format it. I don't know where it's going to show up. But yeah. I'll click OK. So I don't know. Data. Yeah, there's a blue somewhere. So we have to take that out. Take that out and no borders, fonts, 10, 10 is okay. And I click okay. Can you see? Now everything here has changed and we could click okay. So this is the new one we did. Can you see? Now it blends in with what we're trying to do. So now when you click it, it takes out everything on it, but just shows the value. And the hover still remains, so you could also still adjust the over like I did on this. You can see I changed the over over selected items. I didn't change the one not selected. I can also change that. You can see. And you can say if it's here, printer. So here this is how to format a slicer on Excel. So it blends in with whatever you're building, be it a dashboard, be it a report, whatever the color is, whatever the style is, you just have to tune it to get what you want exactly. So that's just it. So this will take us to the end of today's video. And I love you all for sticking with me. I said the love. We are 3,000 subscribers now. So thank you all for the support. Yeah, I could say see you guys next Friday now. So be expecting more videos and I will try to keep it coming. And that's just it. So have a great day. Have a great night. Good night. Good morning. Good evening. Whenever you're watching this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Share to anybody you feel like needs this. And bye guys. Bye.